Hey guys, I'm here to film a different video than hauls and makeup tutorials. I'm actually here to film a um, a dupe video for you guys. I'm actually really excited because I went through my makeup collection the other day and I was just kind of like looking for dupes, like not on purpose, but then I started purposely looking for dupes and I was like, I have a lot. And it kind of made me sad because I was like, why did I spend $50 on this? And then I could have just spent like not even half the price, like a ridiculous, like low ass price. So I'm going to share these with you guys. I definitely, definitely made sure that they were like pretty much a hundred percent, um, dupes or like as close as I could possibly get, because I don't like going on to a dupe video and then people saying they're dupes and they're just like somewhat similar. I don't really doesn't really jive with me. So, um, I made sure that these were almost 100% dupes, um, so that I could share them with you. So if you want to see what dupes I have in my collection from high end to low end, please keep watching. So, um, okay. The first dupe that I'm going to share with you guys is this Kat Von D blush. This is the, um, Kat Von D everlasting face shaper blush, 24 hour wear. And this is in the shade Wish. I did get this on clearance for $11.99 at um, Ulta. And I really like this blush. I love the packaging. I think it's really, really pretty, really girly. And this is what the packaging looks like. It's a really gorgeous, like, nude peach blush. And I just think this is absolutely beautiful. And I really, really like it. So um, I was actually, I just picked this up not too long ago. I picked this up at Kmart and this is in the shade Apricot in the Middle by Wet n Wild and this is from their Color Icon um, New Formulated Blushes and I was looking at this and I was like you know I wonder if I have something similar to that so I started looking through my collection and then I found the Kat Von D blush and I kind of got disappointed in myself because like look they're like the same the same look mm -hmm. like this really depressed me to do this but I know it's very exciting for people who like can't really afford like the higher end products because honestly I'm one of those people girl seriously like it's it gets expensive and I'd rather have a affordable option that's just as good so um this I feel like these, the formula of these are really good. I don't, I wouldn't say they're just as good as Kat Von D blushes because these are supposedly like a 24 hour wear, which I do, I haven't tested for a 24 hour wear, but I have tried like 12 hours and they are still there. Um, but I do feel like these are very similar. The texture is very similar. Most importantly, the shade is extremely similar. Um, so I feel like these are almost like 100% dupes. So on my middle finger is the Kat Von D Wish shade and on my ring finger is the Apricot in the Middle shade from Wet n Wild. And I'm going to swatch them on my hand for you guys. Sorry, my face is like itching like a mother right now. I don't know why. So the first one here, they're almost 100%. Now I will say... The um, Wet n Wild one is a little bit darker, but it's like the same shade essentially once you blend it out, especially on the face, like because you're not going to want to have just one stark line of blush, you're going to be blending it out. So I'll show you what they look like blended out, but I want to show you what they look like swatched. This first one right here is the Kat Von D, and this one right here is the um, Wet n Wild. So I'm going to blend them out with the same fingers, and as you can see, they pretty much come out to the same color. Um, like I said, the one, the Wet n Wild one was just a little tad bit darker, but honestly, once they're blended out on the face, you're not going to be able to tell. Trust me on that. Um, but I do like that the Kat Von D one comes with a, um, a little bit better packaging and a really nice mirror, but if you don't travel that much like me, it's really not that big of a deal. So, yeah, and they're both really good quality. Um, they both have kind of like the same like creamy consistency. <sighs> the next one is another Kat Von D blush. Okay, like these break my heart. Like I'm just like, why did I spend money when I didn't have to? 
You know what I mean? Like, okay, so this is the same Everlasting Face Shaper Blush 24 Hour Wear, but this is in the shade Por Vida, which is a really actually popular shade. And I got this one, again, on clearance for $11.99. I try to get, like, my higher-end products at a good price that I would pay just a little bit more than I would on drugstore. So I will let you guys know, like, what I paid for each one, blah, blah, blah. So this is the gorgeous shade. It is such a pretty, like... I don't know, like, it's just a beautiful shade. It's a super bright, almost corally pink. I don't know, it's really pretty. And this is my Beauty Treats Matte Blush Palette. I paid $5.99 for this at Bell's, and I have also seen it at Ross and TJ Maxx. So the shade that I am comparing this to is this shade right here. Here it is right there. And these are really, really good quality and they have you they give you 10 colors for I paid $5.99 and I've seen it for like the highest, I think six or seven ninety nine. But it's definitely worth it, trust me. Um they're really really good blushes and they just blend out like a dream. Um so again these are both matte which is good. A lot of people like matte blushes. So I'm going to show you guys a swatch. Now this is going to, the Kat Von D one is going to be on my ring finger and the Beauty Treats one is going to be on my middle finger. Now the Beauty Treats one is slightly, let's see, slightly um, darker, but essentially, again, I will tell you guys that they're pretty much the same once you blend them out on the face. So Kat Von D and the, um, the Beauty Treats. So Kat Von D's, oops, Kat Von D's right here and Beauty Treats is right here. Again, I will blend them out for you guys so you can see there's really no difference in, you know, color. Um, so I wouldn't say... I wouldn't say these past dupes that I've been doing these two so far haven't been 100%, but they're pretty much like 99% dupes, 98% dupes. So, I mean, it's close enough to me to where I wouldn't have purchased this if I would have known I already had it. You know what I mean? So, so yeah. Uh, that. The next one I will tell you guys about is actually a Wet n Wild blush again and a Milani blush. This is the Milani powder blush and I do believe this one was limited edition. I absolutely love the packaging. I'm not sure that you could still find this one at CVS but that's where I picked up mine. This is in the shade number 10 Awakening Rose and it is a beautiful nude blush. It is so gorgeous. It has a very like light pink touch to it but it's essentially like a nude Beautiful nude color. I absolutely love it. The packaging is gorgeous, like I said. And it's just a really, really good blush. And it lasts a long time on the cheeks. So that is the swatch of that one on my ring finger. And the one that I'm comparing it to is the Rose Champagne from the Wet n Wild Color Icon. This is another one of their new formula blushes. So these are readily available. And you can find these uh, very easily at um, any drugstore, pretty much. And by the way, I don't think I told you guys, um, but these are like, they, they run $2.99, so that's a really good price. Um, the Milani one, I believe I found for $8.99. So this is an essentially like a high-end um, dupe, and drugstore dupe, but it's, you know, it's, if you want to save a couple bucks, I mean, why not, right? So again, I will say that these are not like 100% dupes but they are very, very similar. If you're looking for a nude blush, I mean, honestly, like, the Milani one is a little bit pinker, and the um, the Wet n Wild one is a little bit nuder on the nude side, but essentially, they have the same, like, you know, vibe. Like, they have the same, like, peach undertone. Um, the... Milani one, I will just like swatch these out like I did with the other ones, kind of blend them out. I don't think you can really tell the difference on the face once you 
swatch these out. There's a lot of blush dupes actually that I found, which is funny um, because I'm like a blush order. But I just wanted to share them with you guys. So that's one. The next one is another blush. This is the e.l.f. Baked Blush. And this is in the shade Pink Passion. And um, the high-end blush that I'm duping it to is the Laura Geller Blushed uh, Baked Star Blush and Highlight in the shade Rose Starlight. This is the Laura Geller one. Really pretty. It comes with like a white highlight in the center, which makes it really nice and glowy. And this is the e.l.f. Big Blush in the shade Pink Passion. Now they kind of have like the same kind of like baked feel to them. You can tell right away in the packaging that there's some sort of similar color going on in there. This one is kind of more of like a marbled effect though, as the other one is, you know, just the two colors. So I'm going to share these with you guys. Um, the Laura Geller one is going to be on my middle finger and the e.l.f. one is going to be on my ring finger. You can see a dupe there. Um, and if you don't focus so much on the white like I did on this swatch, like if you get more into the pink area and don't um, focus so much on the white, you can see they're even closer of a dupe to each other. So... There, um, there's the e.l.f. and there is the Laura Geller. The Laura Geller is this one right here, and this is the e.l.f. one. Again, not 100% dupes, but very, very, very similar. They have, like, the same, um, like, look once they're blended out. I do like the Laura Geller one better, for sure, because I feel like the, um, the e.l.f. one doesn't glow as much, but it's still, like I said, if you guys kind of, like, focus on the, um, this is Laura Geller, this is e.l.f. If you focus on the pink parts of this one more than the white, you're going to get more of a similar look, so. But I do think that, overall, the Laura Geller one is a lot more glowy in general than the e.l.f. one, but they still have that same, like, pinky sheen color texture. Kind of thing. I don't know if you guys can see. So again, not 100% dupes, but it's pretty close. And I feel like if you were to wear these blushes on the face, could you really tell? So it's that. Oh, I'm getting tired, you guys. Okay. The next dupe I want to tell you guys about is from this Ulta Contour Kit. And I do feel like this is a really good deal because you get six pans for $18 at Ulta. Um, oh, by the way, I didn't tell you guys the prices. I believe this blush and highlighter from Laura Geller is, I think, like close to $23 on their website. I got mine in the gift set, and it came with three different things for $23 or $29. So it wasn't that bad of a deal for me. Um, but cause like I said, I like to get my higher end stuff kind of on a discount price and I got that at TJ Maxx, by the way, it was in like a little gift set. And then this I think is like $3 on Elf's website, if not like two. So y'all, um, okay. So this is the Ulta contour kit. It comes with two highlighters and four bronzers. Um, there's a mixture between cooler tone bronzers in here and warmer bronzers. Um, this is what they look like. I'm focusing on the bronzers today because I haven't found a dupe for the highlighters or I really haven't looked to be honest. Um, but I could try and see if I have a dupe for those. But anyway, that's what the bronzers look like. And, um, this is supposed to be for medium and I believe fair skin tones. The fair skin tone side is this side and the medium skin tones this side. Honestly, if you're dark complected, I feel like you could also use this side because those are some dark ass bronzers, okay? Just letting you guys know. Um, all right, so the dupes that I have are both from City Color and they are from their matte bronzer collection. I did get these in little gift sets for, I believe, $6.99 and it came with like a blush with each of these um, from Ross. So... Essentially, I got these a better deal what you would get them on the website, but I believe on the website, these are $4.99 a piece, somewhere around that area. 
So the reason why I wanted to do this video um, and why I wanted to focus on these bronzers is because a lot of people, this isn't going to cater to everybody. I don't feel like everybody's going to want warm bronzers. This is marketed as a contour kit. And for me, honestly, I like cooler tones in a contour kit, but there are some shades in here that I really, really like and some shades that I'm just not feeling. Um, but I feel like I'll, I'll go kind of into depth with these a little bit more. This warmth bronzer, I feel like for fair skin tones, it's going to be perfect. And that is actually one of the shades that I feel um, I have duped. So this is now I don't have colors on here on the back. It just says bronzer or whatever, but I will try and find these on the website and link them down below for you guys. I do believe this might be the lightest shade that they have in the bronzer collection, but I will try and check and see if they have a name on there. But this is like pretty much an exact dupe. I don't know if you guys can tell from the distance that I have here, but I will swatch them for you guys. They have the same kind of soft feeling consistency. They're very, both very soft, both very pigmented products. So that is what the bronzers look like. The one in the middle is on um, my middle finger is um, the Ulta one and the one on my ring finger is the City Color. So I felt like the reason why I'm doing this video is because um, if you want just one of the shades from this palette, because this is not going to cater to you on every level, like if you're light like, if you're really fair, I don't think that you should go out and buy this whole palette because you're not going to be able to use these two bronzers here at all. I mean, you might be able to get away with using the bronzer bombshell, but, or the bombshell bronzer, but I don't know. Like, you might just like the light shade, or you might just like the really dark shade. It just depends on who you are and what your complexion is, so I just wanted to share that. Again, these aren't 100% dupes, but they're very, very close. This one here is the... um the city color shade and this one here is the Ulta shade so they're very similar on the face and again it almost doesn't show up on my skin tone because I'm I'm a little bit dark for these but well not dark at all but you know what I'm saying um they're pretty good for light complexions but you can see they pretty much look the same blended out so yeah um, this next one is from the other side of the palette, and this is in the shade Golden Bronzer. I feel like if you are medium to deep skin tone, you're going to love this bronzer. It's, like, perfect. It has cool and cool tones in it, and it also has a little bit of warmth in it. So it's not going to be, like, the best thing to contour with, um, but it might be. It just depends on your skin tone. So it is really deep. Um, the one on the middle finger is a city color and the one on my ring finger is from Ulta. So there's, see. I'm going to get a better swatch because my hands are very dry, so it's not really swatching well, but okay. Okay. This one is from city color and this one's from Ulta. Again, very similar shades. I mean, seriously, like, once you blend them out, you can't really tell the difference. So, I just wanted to give that a mention. But yeah, $18 isn't bad for this palette if you feel like you're going to be able to use all the shades in here. But if you wanted to isolate one shade and just get one shade, um, then I'd go with the City Color ones because they're they're all matte. They're matte, um, just like these are, and they work just the same. So, Yes, um, the next one that I want to do for you guys is actually a MAC lipstick. I got this forever ago. These two MAC lipsticks that I'm going to mention in here, I got a long time ago. Um, and I don't really like particularly love the colors for my skin tone. Um, but I got them when I was younger and I didn't know, like I was like 15 and I bought these. Um, and this is the Viva Glam Nikki. Lipstick, they don't sell this one anymore. It was a limited edition, but if you have this in your collection or you have been wanting this color, um, think twice. Um, just saying, because you might be able to get it for a cheaper price. It's not going to be a lipstick form, but it'll be a very similar color. So this is the Satin Viva Glam, Viva Glam Nikki. So it's a very, like, bright like corally pink shade. 
it's pretty unique, I guess. Um, but that is what the full swatch looks like. As you can see, it, it does have a satin finish, very creamy lipsticks. Um, but I'm not truly a fan of that color. I always find that I have to mix it with another color, but if that color looks really good on you or you think it would look really good on you and you don't want to spend the full price, I would try this NYX Butter Gloss first. This is in the shade Peaches and Cream. And I know you guys are going to be like, well, that's a lip gloss. But it is glossier, but it's very similar in color. Like I, honestly, it's like the lip gloss form. So if you like lip glosses more, you might actually, this might work out better for you. And if you don't want as opaque of a, like, punch of color, this might work out for you better too. So I'm just taking this and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. The color is just identical. So I could not not. So even if you have this lipstick and you feel like you want a gloss, you could try this out. So... Yeah, I that's it's a color dupe. It's not necessarily 100% like I almost didn't include this in the video because I was like, well, that's not a lipstick. But if you like a glossier finish, you might like this anyway. And you can also sheer out the lip gloss a little bit better than you can sheer out the lipstick without having to mix it, you know. So essentially, same color. There's the NYX. There's the MAC. So I figured I'd share it just in case you guys were like on the hunt for that lipstick and it was limited edition and stuff. So I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully this is helpful helpful for you guys. The next color is another Nicki Minaj color. This is not a Nicki Minaj lipstick, but it's a Nicki Minaj color that she claimed to wear when she first came out. And I had to get it because I was obsessed with Nicki Minaj, okay? This is St. Germain. This is an amplified lipstick. This is a very popular light pale pink shade. It's very blue-based pink. So here we are. Now I actually, and it's got some purple tone in it, which is really pretty, but it's it does not look good on my complexion. I'm just going to say it. It looks like scary on me. Um, and I, even if I do wear this, I mix it with like a nude lipstick and I sheer it out a lot because this is a very, very difficult consistency to work with because it's very creamy and it almost like cakes up on the lips, if that makes sense. So actually I love this formula so much better and I like this color a little bit more. It's a little bit more like wearable for this kind of like light shade. This is the limited edition Color Sensational um, Maybelline Lipstick. These came out last spring, and they are still out. I've seen them on, like, all of the, um, the, the Maybelline displays, so it's not like you have to worry about it going away, hopefully, like, fingers crossed, because I really love this collection. They came in the, like, pale lilac um, beautiful packaging with the silver applicator, as usual. And this is in the shade number 975, Playful Peony. So this is what it looks like. It does not look the exact same in the, like, tube, but it swatches very similar to the MAC one. So I will show you guys these two side by side. The MAC one looks a little bit more, like, lighter, but I'm telling you guys, it's they're essentially the same. Like, I, I looked for a dupe for this one, and I'm pretty confident it... Now, this one is a little bit darker, and it has a little bit less purple in it, um, but again, very, very similar shades, and it's almost like the Color Sensational one is a little bit more wearable, like I said, than the Nicki Minaj. This is the, or not Nicki Minaj, <laughs> the Saint Germain color. This is Saint Germain, and this is Maybelline. I know they do have another um, dupe somewhere out there. I forget if it's like a wet and wild color, something really super cheap. I forget. I watched another dupe video for it, but I don't have it. So that is the closest that I had. And like I said, this one's a little bit more wearable because it's a little bit darker. It's a little bit more, but if you want the same like vibe, try it. 
Okay, so the next one that I have to tell you guys about is a Becca highlighter. This is one of Becca's most highly raved about highlighters. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in Opal. And I absolutely love this highlighter. I think it's gorgeous. Um, I do, I will say, I feel like the formula of these are pretty unique. Um, and I think the formula of this one is definitely a lot better than the dupe. So that is one thing I will say right off the bat. But um, it's a beautiful highlighter. And if you cannot afford it, I will dupe it for you. Before I forget, though, NYX Water Glosses run around $5.99 at Ulta. Sometimes you can find them like $6.99 and you can get coupons. Um, the Maybelline comes for about $5.99 as well, depending on where you get it at, at Walmart. And then the MAC lipsticks, I believe, I want to say these are $16, $17 a piece. So they always carry the, um, the St. Germain color, but this one was a limited edition, so I'm just letting you guys know. I forgot to mention that. I always forget prices until I'm done with it. So um, I actually got these two around the same time, and this is another e.l.f. baked highlighter. This is in the shade Blush Gems, and it's beautiful. I mean, it is very, very, you can tell in the pan they're extremely similar. Um, and obviously you get a lot more product in the, um, the, uh, the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. And I did get this for a good price. I did get this on sale for, I think like $22 free shipping. I believe it was on, um, I got it on, can't even remember what website I got it from. I'll try and remember because it was like a deal where I got like 40% off or something like that or $20 off. I think it was, I don't know if it was like overstock.com or no, it was hsn.com. That's what it was. So, um, it was like your first order, you get $20 off and I used it on this because I've been wanting this for a long time. And I actually had this like I got this around the same time and when I swatched the two next to each other I was kind of sad because I was like seriously again this is like a three dollar highlighter compared to normally the, the press ones are like I think forty dollars so but I did get a good deal on it and I love the consistency of the um the Becca one better but I just want to share with you guys this is pretty much a color dupe um yeah the one on the middle is um, opal, and then this one here is blush gems from from Elf. I will say opal has a lot more of a sheen to it. If you see them far away, this is opal, and that one is Elf. But you can build the Elf ones up since they're baked. You can use them wet as well, so you might be able to get the same effect, the same like. Um, effect, you know, but you can see they both have the same kind of like sheen. I will say, like I said before, um, these aren't a hundred percent dupes, but they're very close. And I think the Becca one is definitely better in like formula, but like I said, if you're on a budget, like you might as well try it, you know? So why not? Right. Um, all right, the next one is another extremely raved about product. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminator in the shade So Hollywood. I love this highlighter. I use this highlighter like 95% of the time that I do my makeup because I love a strong gold highlight in this. This will give it to you. Um, okay, so I went through hell to get this. I think I spent 20... $23 to get this and I actually got it with the um, Anastasia A23 brush like as a deal because it was for Cyber Monday. So I don't regret getting this whatsoever because I love the packaging and I love the formula. It lasts all day on my skin and it's really, really good. Creamy, really nice. Um, the packaging is beautiful too. So yes, but I did find a dupe. This is the Wet n Wild Fergie Center Stage Collection to Reflect Shimmer Palette in the shade Hollywood Boulevard. 
Um, this does not look like it'd be a dupe because number one, it has pink in it and brown in it. But when you swatch this, I promise you, it comes off a straight gold. Like I will show you guys. It doesn't come off pink whatsoever. You see that? That is crazy. And I think this is probably the closest dupe out of everything that I have showed you guys. Um, which is very exciting because a lot of people love it. So this is literally... The one on my ring finger is so Hollywood, and the one on my middle finger is the Wet n' Wild. Could you see that? Could you see it? Again, I got really upset when I saw these two and swatched these two together because I was like, God damn it, why did I do that? Um, the one on my middle finger... What did I say? The one on my middle finger is... Um, the Wet n' Wild, yeah. Okay, so the one on my middle finger, it is slightly darker. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's very slight. Um, but it, again, you can see it gives you kind of like the same sheen. I do think the quality of the So Hollywood one from Anastasia is better, obviously, um, in formula. But really, I mean, if you are on a budget, like, why not? So that's what they look like. I hope the lighting is picking up the gorgeousness of these for you guys. I'm trying to get it to where it shows you, like, you know, what your highlight's going to look like on your face when it's blended out. Okay, and I have one more dupe for you guys. This is the Lorac Tantalizer Baked Bronzer, okay? This is a face and body bronzing powder. And this is expensive. I got this years ago, years ago, and it was like $40. Um, and this is just like, I think this is the original one. I'm not really sure, but it has a ton of shimmer in it. It's like a baked Soleil looking like product. It's really beautiful. The packaging is really cool. Um, on the back, it has a, um, um, a little brush that comes in there that I've never used before. And it also has a mirror on the back. So if you take the sticker off, you can use it for travel and stuff. So I'm pretty sure I found a very, very, very similar dupe. I want to make sure like that I'm here. Oh yeah. So these are very similar, and it's so funny because, um, let me see real quick, because I brought three to show you guys, but I'm not really sure. Okay, so the one that I'm going to show you guys is extremely similar. Like, the tantalizer one feels a little bit smoother in consistency, but essentially these are the same products. You want to see the middle one is the tantalizer and the ring finger one is the Milani Tantastic Face and Body Baked Bronzer. This is in the shade Fantastic and Gold. It even has the same packaging as the, the Lorac one. I will show you the packaging in a second. Let me just swatch these real quick. So that one, yeah. Um, and I will say it has like the same kind of like marbled effect in there, but the Lorac one is a little bit more orangey, which I don't love. I only feel like I can use this Lorac one when it's summertime and I'm really tan because if I don't, I look a little crazy. It's very shimmery on the face. So you have to be careful with using this, especially with a light hand, I would say use this. But it's so funny that they, they kind of like duped the packaging on purpose. Like it even says tan in like big letters. And this is tantalized. This is tantastic. Face and body baked bronzer. I mean, honestly... Milani, I see you. I see you. But I like it. Um, so this one here is the Milani one, and this one here is the Lorac one. They're not 100% dupes, like I said, but I actually prefer the Milani one because um, it's not as orangey. And what I like about the Milani one is that if you swirl your brush in the white parts of the, um, the product, you can actually use it as a highlight as well. So it's a double like product, like it's a dual product, which I really love, but it does have the same kind of packaging. Um, again, you get the same size brush, the same like looking brush in there and you get a mirror on the back with their sticker 
in the writing. So I do prefer the dupe rather than the actual product, but they're, I think they're almost the same. Let's see, this one, the Lorac one is 0.36, 367 ounces, and the um, Milani one in Fantastic and Gold is 0.24 ounces. So they're similar, you know, this one's a little bit less, but trust, this one's better. So um, I will kind of like blend these out for you guys. So you can see definitely that they both have that gorgeous sheen to them, but that one is the Little Rock one and it's a lot more orangey and that one is the Milani one. It's a lot better like as a highlighter almost. So I would highly recommend the um, the Milani one over the Little Rock. I feel like the Little Rock one is just way too orangey. Like you have to be um, like medium to deep to wear that or you'll look a little orange. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please let me know if you want to see more future videos like these, this dupe video. I hope it helps some of you out that you, I don't know, basically got like, I don't know. I hope you got kind of like a, a inside view of like which ones you would want more or whatever, or if you wanted to buy the dupes. Um, by the way, I think this runs... I want to say this is like $8 or something, and this is like $40. Go with the, the Milani. It's so much better. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a like, thumbs up if you did. Um, please comment if you want to see more videos like this, and I will try to find some more dupes in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.